Hello everyone, welcome back to the Rapture episode 32? I don't know. No idea, let's play a random run. We are playing fish. Fish is fishy, fish can roll. Okay, uh... So the fact that we are playing fish means... We're gonna go with Gun War Run, most probably. Especially if you get uh, like a super plasma cannon and trigger fingers. Because that's hectic, that's awesome. And that is like the best loadout ever. So much fun. Okay, get this, get that, and proceed to the next level. Hmm. That's a nice proposition. I like me long arms. A long arm, even two long arms. It's very, very, very comfortable to have longer arms. Because it means I'm more rich when it comes to work. You don't have to like reach out for the remote control. You can just grab it, even though it's on the table, not by you on the sofa. Okay, but it's gone. All is great. Um, let's just proceed. I'm hoping for a wrench or a sledgehammer, preferably. Yeah, a sledgehammer would be nice. Mm. And I believe you can get a sledgehammer and a shovel since this level. From this level on, you are able to drop those. Did we get... Um, yeah, rabbit paw. Rabbit paw is definitely something you always want to pick up when available. Maybe with the exception of some frontbots, like Melting's frontbot, which is far superior to rabbit paw. But Melting's frontbot is far superior to everything, so that is no contest. Really? I'm noticing my English really improved since I started to record those episodes. Now I use it more like instinctively, if you could say so. Um, and more fluently, because, you know, after all, recording yourself talking English, even though if, even though I'm not really trying for a, an accent or anything like that, recording yourself talking in English, at least trying, uh, for like, I don't know, uh, I recorded a total of maybe 40 episodes, every, each of them half an hour long, so that's like 20 hours of me talking to myself. That's a lot of time, so that's a lot of exercise, great exercise for that. It's a great way to teach yourself. Oh. Also, it's a great way to teach yourself to focus on many things at the same time. Because, you know, playing games takes, a, takes up a lot of thought process, especially games like Nuclear Throne, which are extremely hard. And a lot of focus to play Nuclear Throne because this game is very fast paced. I never played a game which is that fast, so you really have to focus. And talking and focusing at the same time is not as easy as, as some people would call it. You know, telling someone to focus is easy, but actually focusing when you're busy with some doing something else, it is not that simple. And I'm definitely noticing some improvement in that department. See? I'm dodging bullets. I'm not even seeing those bullets and I'm dodging them still, so... That means I already have a reflex. Fuck. I probably shot the proto statue with that stray bolt. Didn't I? Yep. I def most definitely did. Uh, 
What is the weapon? What is the weapon? That is the question. Mm. Let's take Storm Spirit just for extra layer of protection. I prefer Splinter Pistol over the crossbow. It's faster. It deals a little bit less of damage. Okay. That sniper's gotta go. The first big dog. Need to have your priorities, right? Sniper's gone. No. Fine. We are good. Everything died. Uh, what is in the weapons crate? Where is the weapons crate? That's the first question you want, I want answered. There it is. Plasma rifle. Hmm. No. I'm happy with what I have. Very happy with what I have. Uh, okay, so we're up to the crystal caves. Go ham mode on this place because, well, we are in open space and we are low on HP. One, one little prod from those guys and I'm toast. Okay, what is fun about the flak cannon is that one shots those freaking big ass crystals. That wasn't as bad as I expected it to be. Okay. You cannot be one weak. Splinter gun. I think it's better than the splinter pistol, even though it has less of a fire rate. All shells. Okay, that's okay. That's really okay. Um, scary face. I was thinking about the, about the laser pistol, but uh, I mean, the laser brain, but no, I don't really have any energy weapons, and I don't plan on having some as of yet. Maybe you know for for the super plasma cannon that it would be good. But man, seriously, the super plasma cannon does it really need an improvement? It's already the, one of the strongest damn weapons in the game. It's not the strongest. I think it has the da highest damage output. Uh, will I? I think I will. Which means I'm going to have to switch to flag cannon for my main, main killing. I'm not really sad, sad about that. Mr. Rat doesn't matter. Doesn't matter it in the least. Um, I'm not really sad about use, using uh, flak cannon for my main damage source because it's a really rad weapon. Okay. Um, who killed me, the proto statue? Stop moving, you, you asshole. Stop it. How can I hide if I'm getting moved all the time? Out of my cover, forcefully. forcefully. Okay, I need the medkit. Good reflexes. No mimic here. A wrench. Hello, but no. I do have long arms, but I don't have a sanity level of below 9. Out of 11,000. Uh, so, no. Hmm. Nah, my level is too low to risk everything and then I don't really have all the mutations I wanna get, so no crown of destiny here. So no crown of destiny at all, in fact. 5-3. We are expecting little hunter to show up. There is the little booger. There goes the little booger. Nice and steady. Bam. And boom, he threw it at me. With his last ditch effort. But he still failed. <laughs> I am too good for you. Too damn awesome. Okay. I don't want to be pinched in this little hallway. With all the snowbots and snow wolves. Saying hello to me. Okay, I need some shells. Alright, no, I need some shells. In fact, 
I'm really happy with the amount of shells I'm having. I have. Well, that, that's probably the better form. Um, yes, second stomach is great. Remember? Fire before ya. If you want to live long and prosper. Where is the damn necromancer? There you are, Mr. Kant. Huh. That is nice. I'm gonna take it instead of the super crossbow. Because I like this weapon, I love the lightning weapons, let me tell you that. I love them with a passion! Okay. And that is exactly why, they deal a shit ton of damage. Well, just like the super crossbow, but... The lightnings are more fun. Okay, you're not the last one. You might be. Ooh, hello. I am going to take you. Why? Because I have long arms. And this weapon is awesome. why you take the energy screwdriver. It just does just dope as heck. Dope as all the hacks. Um, so what is our weapon? In the weapons case. Uh, laser rifle. Nope. I'm not interested in your offer. Definitely nope. Uh, I love the energy screwdriver man. None of these are that appealing to me, since I have this and... Uh, uh, the second stomach. So I'll go patience, even though the bloodlust is just... Whoa, 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 on loops. So good. But I... I just really want a... You know... A plutonium hunger. I should hit level... 9 after this fight, I believe. Maybe. Now I'm gonna go ham on the generators with my energy screwdriver. That should get rid of them really, really fast. Damn. See? That's just insane. Thank you, thank you. Bam, 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 bam. Okay. Now for the fun part. Woohoo! Woohoo! Okay, the throne is gone. No challenge at all. <laughs> I freaking love the energy screwdriver, man. This weapon is dope. The dopest of the dopes. See? That is exactly... Oh! I have to. I really have to do that. Hmm. 
I will. Okay, I have the guitar now. The guitar with long arms is the dopest of the dope shits. Oh man, an explosion he hit me. Oh well, looped! Bam! This is marked. Let's play the daily. The daily will play as ice. That's what the RNG said to me. I wonder how fast the throne would die with. No, I probably shouldn't have killed the throne too with just a mini weapon. That was not a good choice. But oh well, oh, what can you do? Nothing. That's what you can do. Okay. Now, that's great. Wrench plus energy pistol, laser pistol. That's just a great early game combination. Isn't it? Isn't this just dopest of the dope? I'm probably overusing this word at this point. Rabbit power right of the bat. That is great. On the daily. Morse, moreover. Where did the bandit go? Where is the bandit of respectable size? A bandit that is not small. He hit amongst amongst all the scorpions. Those damn fuckers. He's gonna have a bad time, really. Not unleash this gun. No living through that, mister. No living through the, this gun madness. Let me take a bite of my chocolate. Keep your head straight. You've lived for hell. Just to get to heaven. Okay, let's just proceed. It was a very good level. I really value the Rhino skin quite highly. Not only because it gives you an extra hit, but it kinda ups your capacity to run in wild. No. On the loops, you sometimes have to make the decision to just go in ham, full ham mode, to just, for example, get rid of a necromancer, and Rhino skin enhances your ability to do so, because on the loops, you just run in. You know that if not for the def all the defensive mutations like uh, for example plutonium hunger plus the shitload of enemies that yield you medkits and uh, like bloodlust you'd be dead immediately your health stumps starts just b bumping up and down and up and down like a madman like a mad entity I'm gonna take the minigun because I like it uh, so it's just very hectic and uh, 
Rhino skin ups your ability to endure some hits. Like, you know, if you take 3 hits immediately before finding your first mean of healing, if you have 8 health, you're gonna die. But, if you have more, you're not going to die. That's what, why I value Rhino skin highly. Besides, I, I just like it. It's one of my favorite mutations. So, the shotgun. Mm -mm. Well, if we had shotgun shoulders, I would. Because the soft sword off is a very efficient shotgun. It shoots out a lot of pellets for the amount of shells it consumes. So it's great. But uh, its accuracy just kills it for me. And insta procs. Sniper's gotta go. You really got to go. Um. Okay. So, weapon crate again. The portal opened by the weapon crates. So it's an energy weapon. And as it's an energy weapon, I'm gonna take laser brain. It's gonna be a, a direct improvement to my laser pistol, which I probably shouldn't be holding anymore. I'm kinda scared of this guy. And that is why, kids, you take impact wrists. Oh, if there was a laser, a laser crystal. I'd be toast by that point, uh, but there wasn't, luckily. Panzer shotgun. Hmm. I will replace minigun with Panzer shotgun just because I love this weapon. Uh, let's take extra feet for the dodging purposes. This episode is starting to be quite a long one. I'm kind of scared of standing by the cars. Pew pew with lasers. We are fine. People really underestimate the power of the shotgun. That bounces! Super Slugger, hmm. That is very interesting. I think I will. Which means I will have to use energy for the main part. That is why you take Super Slugger. That is exactly why you do it. Because it's just so much damage. Wait a minute, uh, box. Here you go this way. Water. To honor the ending. You gotta go, car. This guy died quickly. Luckily he didn't shoot because that would be a rocket in the face. Which I would probably survive, but I'd be in a bad spot. That's for sure. 
Like 2 HP left, perhaps. Okay, don't anchor the, the IPDs. Okay, so I have no idea about the meta of ice. Um, maybe we should try one of those fancy things like Devastator plus um, projectile style. Or maybe those Matrix thingies. When you take. Uh, Lightning cannon. Ooh, lightning shotgun. I will. Lightning weapons are dope. But that means I don't really have an, a reliable way of dealing to tight corridors, which is not nice. Mm. Oh well, we'll survive. Uh, Second stomach for sure. Just for those fluctuations that will happen. Okay, so... Um, deal with some of those guys, and now... Um, boom. Right off the bat, he dead. The guy is dead. And we are not. Which means we won, and he didn't. He did not win. He was the loser in this thing. Ooh. Plasma cannon. We can't. We can we? We will try that. It's then risky, but we will try that. Ooh, hello, my friend. This is a hard decision. Fuck me! If I'm going to lose this daily because of my hubris, well, that's my problem. Mr. Necromancer, die. Could you kindly die? Mm. There's a freak, there's a grenade launcher. Well, this is going to be interesting. Are we going to succeed? That is the question. Energy screwdriver is extremely powerful. Oh fuck. All the energy weapons. One energy, energy to kill those guys. You know what? I think that's viable. One energy to kill two of those guys. Okay, but I think I'm gonna keep it with this. Take a plasma to the face. Uh, hello. Right off the bat, just unleash one. Those nice fellas. Um, you really wanna keep, kill those gen those little generators? They give you a lot of rats. Okay. Walked right into it. That's okay. Ooh, no. Ouch. Okay. Be careful. Don't wanna throw that? Okay, we're fine. And second stomach for <laughs> rabbit bow is just... <laughs> freaking ridiculous. Okay, 
The generators should be no problem with this loadout. Not at all. That's very good. It's going to let us do some significant damage without dipping into our main resource, which is energy. And I think we might wanna just keep this weapon to the front to fight. Just because he hitting the Tron 2 with any of our energy weapons that are currently available to us is going to be nightmare. Just 5 energy to do that. think this, those guardians shouldn't be in the throne fight because they're just a distraction. Besides, they kinda kill the whole mood of one-on-one -on -one combat with the throne. You know, like, you come up to the throne, you see this epic construct, you want to sit on it, but no, it, it lights up. You try to sit on it, but re it rejects you. You cannot go onto it. You try punching it, the skeleton on the throne disappears. Comes out. Dissipates into dust. Suddenly the ground starts shaking. A giant flame comes out of each of the pipes of the throne. A big as laser surprises you as it shoots through the hallway. And then it begins. The throne stands up. You look at it. And you know you are fucked because you have to solo this freaking thing. And those guys. They are just a distraction, then. They are just like... You know, when you have a giant ride in some MMO, it's you and a boss and a shitload of little monsters that are just there <laughs> to get killed and annoy you. That's what these guys are. They do nothing. They sort serve no purpose but to annoy you. Oh well, that's it for this tangent and that's it for this episode. Remember, drink your water, stay hydrated and have a nice day!